Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to episode number 29 of the Renit podcast. I am Emily. I'm Roz. Uh, and welcome. We haven't podcasted in a while. Because stuff has happened. Yeah. Health and life and stuff yeah. all got in the way. So it's been about a month, I think, since we podcasted. Maybe even longer than that. Yeah, I think it might have been um, a month since we were supposed to podcast. Possibly. But we're but here now. One weekend it snowed. So That's like, true. Yeah. And another weekend I had to go on... Um, rainbow sleepover yeah. and i didn't sleep so i had to then like i did sleep a bit but i then had to come back and sleep and do like my actual sleeping the next day and then yeah so here we are now we're finally back we are um for having been away for ages we don't have a huge amount of show for it to be perfectly honest no. um but we have a few bits and pieces yeah so yeah i guess we'll start then yeah i'll start seeing as i'm on it anyway <laughs> i'm currently crocheting which you can't see because it's not on the screen but i'll show you now uh i've started working again on my granny stripe blanket that looks like this now look it's huge it's getting really big it looks like this currently hang on a little bit more there's the bottom there we go so that's how big it is now which is quite a lot um i'm redoing so i did went through all my sock yarns when i started and did this bottom section here and now I'm going through them again and doing another stripe in those sock yarns. I'm going through my selection again. And since I picked this up, because this is one that I tend to pick up for a little while and then put away for a bit and then pick up again. So since I picked it up on this iteration, I've done... Can you hold that up that side again? I can yeah. Point. Um, and yeah, I think the crochet hook counts. So I've done from there upwards. So that's so like, like that much. About a third, I think, or yeah. half. Yeah, just under, under half. Yeah, that's a lot. But that's because I'm going through all my sock yarns again. So I've got loads. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. It's now getting to a, like an actual blanket size. It's not very wide, like if you, well, tall, I suppose. It's only not that tall, but that's like, it's a good like lap blanket size so far. Yeah. I'm going to keep going because I've got more yarn. I've got more of the stuff that I've already put in. That I can do another stripes of. So I'll just keep going till it's big enough. And you do occasionally knit with sock weight yarn, you know. Yeah. Occasionally, like, you know, I had two um, projects. So you might get some more. Yeah, exactly. So the new ones that I'd got, so the, that one, those two were new ones. That's the one I did my big neon -y hat out of, that one there. And then that one I've just done some socks out of. Um, yeah, so some of them are new. Um other than that, I'm just putting the same ones in again. Not in the right, same order, I'm literally just picking them out at random because I like the sort of random colour look of it. Sometimes I get to pick them, it's very exciting. Mm, occasionally. One time. Yeah. <laughs> Did I not do a good job? Is that why I've not been allowed to pick well, again? Well, you weren't here. I mean, that's that's mostly the reason. Um, yeah, so that's what I've picked up and I'm working on now. I'll probably keep going till I've gone through all these sock yarns again for another stripe. And I've used up the bits of ones, the new ones that I've got, and then it'll probably get put away again for a little bit longer until I've got some more yarns I can put on it. Um, yeah, so that's been what I've mostly been working on, because as you can see, I've put on quite a bit of, quite a bit. So that's my first work in progress. Oh, I've got a dodgy finger now. My second one is oh, these. This is the... Um, mock cable sock you might be able to see the pattern on it very well because it's quite a dark color mock cable sock from socks from the toe up by by somebody wendy, wendy b johnson i think her name is yeah um so that's it's just in a green yarn from little is it yeah because it was roses and i swiped it for yeah her. um these are a birthday present for my dad his birthday was about three weeks ago <laughs> Um, but he's tried them on and they fit, so this is the first one. So I still have to do a second one, and my aim is to do it for uh, what, a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, two weeks. Um, so I have to finish this. I just need to do a little bit more leg on this one, then it's done, and then I'll do the second one. It doesn't matter if people can't see the pattern very well on that one because she no. does handily have another sock yeah. in a much lighter colour. I do have a finished pair of these as well that are mine, which I will show later. But those are literally the only two things I'm working on at the moment. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Not very exciting. This, uh, well, blanket's quite cool. It's very pretty. 
I am enjoying doing the blanket. Yeah. Is this you like doing the blanket so you don't have to do the socks? Because you're bored um, of the socks. No, I just like doing something different. And the blanket takes less concentration. That's true, they are pants. So I can like do it without having to really think about it or pay too much attention. Um, whereas the socks, they're not difficult, they're pattern socks, so you kind of have to keep half an eye on it so you know where you are and what you're yeah. supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, so those are my two works in progress. What have you got? I've got three works in progress. Okay, no. I have a shawl that I'm currently knitting. I'm not going to finish this row in time to like... So, yeah, it's all gone. This is the Boom is it? shawl pattern by somebody on Ravelry. And I'm knitting it with this... Sardar colour wheel. Ooh, it's a rainbow. rainbow that Em got me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, it is a double knit and it is 520 metres. So I'm hoping to get a reasonably big shawly scarf thing. You can't really see because I haven't finished this row, but it's kind of like a asymmetrical triangle curve thing. Oh, one of those. Yeah, I'm being really specific at that one. But yeah, basic. it's a very basic pattern. It's just garter stitch with an increase every row at one end and a decrease every other row at the other end to give it the shape. And yeah, it's. I've been knitting it for a while, but I think I forgot to show it on the last podcast. But it's been sort of sitting in my. Oh, it's been sitting in my knitting bag. Oh, yeah. That my friends got me for Christmas. So it's very cool. And yeah, I've been knitting on it mostly apart from when i started it at um rainbow and brownie events because it's the it lives in my rainbow bag so how apt i know knitting a rainbow shawl at like rainbow based events that's you know it's okay so yeah that's work in progress number one and i am gonna finish this row before i stop talking about what before I start talking about the next work in progress. And the next one is a pair of socks. And by pair I mean it's a sock. This is, is that the first one? Yes. Oh okay. Um this is West Yorkshire Spinners, the yarn. Um this is called Mojito. And then this solid colour, which is the same as the dark stripe. I'm doing it on the wrong side. This solid colour, which is the same as this dark stripe, is called chocolate lime. And I had this because I had this because it's the colour that goes with the West Yorkshire Spinners Christmas socks. Uh, so yeah, this is not my normal uh, sock pattern. I normally do a ribbed sock. This is from uh, Custom Socks by Kate Atherley. Uh, this is the toe, no, this is the top down sock uh, with a different kind of heel. I think last time I showed on the podcast, I was a little bit less far on than I was, than I am now, but I have had to rip back and re shorten the heel flap because it was baggy on the, this heel. It's a new type of heel for me and it's baggy on the bottom here. This bit kind of poofs down on my foot. So it was when I'd done a sort of normal length heel flap for me this bit was kind of hanging off the bottom of my foot which was not good so by shortening this I didn't have so many stitches for to pick up so my gusset is absolutely tiny I think it's only about four rows but bizarrely it is when I've tried it on it is fitting really well yeah. so I'm I'm slightly confused about how that is happening but it is happening because there's you know from less than an inch past the heel flap to like I'm now on the toe decreases like my foot gets well I guess it's narrower near my ankle but it is like pretty solid size like yeah it's a steady yeah I, 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 size. I thought my foot changed size as it went down towards my toes but actually no. instead of being like thick it gets thinner but wider so yeah. I guess maybe my feet aren't like in terms of knitting a tube sock, you know, knitting the 
terms of knitting a sock, like knitting a straight tube is fine because although the shape changes, it's still the same Very circumference. Nice, yeah. So yeah, that's, I'm going to hopefully finish this sock today, but I'm doing a slightly, the toe again is slightly different to the toe I would normally do, so I'm not knitting it while we're podcasting because I have to like count stuff. Because the, the rate of decrease is different, so I have to know when I get to a certain number of stitches. I don't want to sit here and count. And then my final thing that I've been working on is, got the needle stuck in it, is my your cardigan. cardigan. So last time on the podcast I remember I was nearly finished the back. If you'd like me to assist you yeah. with holding it up, there we go. So I've now done the two front pieces for the cardigan. I should probably say what the name of the cardigan is. It is the Squared Cardigan from Knit to Flatter by Amy Herzog. It's got this, like, cable effect pattern on the what would be the ribbing, but isn't the ribbing, because it's that pattern instead. And then it's just quite a plain cardigan at the moment, although the button band will, again, be the, the pattern. So is it knit in pieces? Yes, right. and then seamed. And I can tell you what the colour of the yarn is, because although Rowan don't put the colour names on the ball bands, they do put it on the bag of ten that the balls come in. And I bought this as a bag of ten off eBay, so it's called Grey Mist. It's Rowan Felted Tweed. It is kind of... It's kind of curling in a bit, but it will... On the edges, but it will be not doing that when it's finished i hope and what i'm doing at the moment is knitting the sleeve i'm not knitting the sleeve the way it is in the pattern in the pattern you knit it flat and then attach it to your uh garment but last time i knitted an amy herzog pattern last time you knitted an amy herzog pattern right i um well that was a sleeve i set fire to but initially that sleeve oh, wasn't yeah, right. Oh yeah, I remember that. That initially that sleeve was not the thing, not right, and I had to redo it. So I'm trying doing it in a different fashion. Don't block your cardigans over an open flame. Yeah, no, that wasn't a good idea. And I won't have to ever do that again because M um, now has a steam mop that you can use. Works really well for blocking. Yeah. You just pin the garment out on the carpet and um, you just steam. It's really yeah. good. And it dries much quicker than if you get it wet. Yeah. Because it's only steam. So yeah. So I've, I'm doing a, a kind of pick up and knit stitches around the edge of the, this is the like armhole edge and it's now got this bit of sleeve in. I'm just knitting backwards and forwards in short rows that are getting longer. And I found a tutorial on how to do this online which I will link in the show notes. Mm. And I'm not sure how it's going to fit so I've put in uh lifeline because i'm going to carry on from the point i am doing short rows and possibly i shouldn't because I'm, I'm not sure i trust the tutorial even though i've never done a, so a, yeah, a sleeve like this before i feel like i know better than the woman who wrote the tutorial but i'm not entirely confident that i do know that in that i put in a lifeline so we'll see what happens i'm, I'm fully i'm going into this knowing that i'm winging it and i'm doing it for the first time and it's not how it's written in the pattern so I am fine with ripping back and starting all over again. It's a learning process. Yes. So depending on how many goes it takes me to get the, the sleeve right, it might take me a long time to finish this card. Again. Think of all the learning you'll have done. Yes, I will have, you know. I imagine I'll have to, I might have to knit this sleeve a lot of times, but the other sleeve I should just have to knit once if I'm reasonably sensible, which is, you know, not a guaranteed. But those are, those are the things I'm knitting at the moment. That's sick. This is my cardigan. It's very nice. It is. And it fits nicely as well. Yeah. You tried it on. Yeah, very nicely. Oh. Awesome. Cool. Right, I'm going to do my one finished object. I've got a hair in my mouth and I can't tell whose hair it is. That's yours. Can you say that? It could be yours. Because it's really short. Like, none of my hair is that short. So it's quite so I'm just looking at my socks, and on the sock blockers they're not the same size, but they are the same size, it's just the way they're sitting on the sock blocker has made them look not the same size. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, these are the finished pair of the mock cable socks. 
This is uh, Somerset Yarns Pumpkin Spice. Um, AFL Nylon Merino Nylon, I can't remember. Um, yeah, oh, but this is from on the last podcast. Socks, it was socks from the toe up. So this is my first pair of toe up socks where I knit the heel in with the sock. Um, and they're really good. They fit really nicely. The cable pattern is pretty easy peasy. Um, and I really like them. They're very comfortable and I like the colour. And they look pretty good, so I'm chuffed with them. So for some reason on the sock blockers, they're not coming up at the same size, but they are the same. Oh yeah, look, you can see that the, just because I've not pulled one up as far yeah. by the looks of it. Well, it's possibly, yeah, look, they're not quite sitting on the sock blocker in the same place. Yeah. They are the same size, I promise. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing the toe-up socks. And in fact, both of us are knitting socks on Magic Loop at the moment, yeah. which is not usual for us. Normally we do nine-inch circulars, but we seem to have... Um, Seem to be on a bit of a magic loop kick currently yeah. just for a bit of difference i think i've knit so many pairs of socks on the small circulars yeah it's nice to have a change yeah i got a lovely chow yeah you did um you? needles for christmas and they are so smooth and the joints are so lovely there it's really nice so yeah magic loop toe up socks really good i enjoyed it a lot and as i say this is the same pattern that i'm doing in this dark green colourway for my dad for his birthday um yeah I like that because I, well it says in the book that it's quite a sort of neutral not too frilly pattern so it's you know good for men's socks but I, also I really enjoyed knitting the pattern it was really good fun and it's a really easy pattern to memorise as well once you've done it a few times over the cable pattern is so easy to remember that you don't need to look at the instructions you can just do it um, but I really like them and I like the colour and they're called Pumpkin Spice which is very exciting that may be the reason I bought the yarn and it was a good colour but yeah. it kind of matches the, the colour I'm in at the moment uh, yeah a little bit so that is my one and only finished object <laughs> what's your finished object? I have finished. I have finished some non-knitted objects. I've you done have, some that's true. Woolly items. You've branched out. Look, I'm doing crochet. You've been doing other wool-related things. We're all, you know. I know. We're both. We're both knitting in with magic loop rather than. I know. We're so, you we're know. just being extravagant and daring. We're so bold and brave, right? They're behind yeah. me. The things that I have. Felt you get them down without pulling everything down. Um, possibly not. So, uh, spinning guild. I'm a member of the Avon Guild of Spinners, Weavers, and Dyers. I know. Um, last, this month, earlier this month, yeah. we did wet felting, and I made this picture, which it's is like a, like a sea scene, and I also made this cup, bowl, canister, beholder, thing, receptacle. Yeah, I made this receptacle. I felted this receptacle. Oh, I say. I know. Your receptacle felter. Yeah. And so I learned how to do like on purpose work felting like not just sticking it in a like knitting an item and sticking it in the washing machine no because i've done that intentional felting i've done that like on purpose and accidentally but this is like felting without having to knit the item first so it's pretty thin and it's a good way to yeah, like, to do lots of like rolling stuff in a towel from what yes. i could see and like mashing it about yeah oh once you've like got it to start felting it's really fun you get to be really mean to it you get to bash it a lot yeah i mean i could have got this to shrink a lot more but i was like shaping it around my water bottle to like give it this kind of shape and so it didn't felt as much as some of the other people other people got theirs to like this big like they're you know receptacles yeah whereas mine is like this big so yeah that was lots of fun and it was cool to learn and then another thing that i have felted in not in a wet way in a needle way and my friend came to the felting thing my friend from oh, school came oh, yeah. to spinning guild to go to felting and when she told she told me last week that she because i think she bought one of the kits yeah and she'd been doing felting at home oh. so that's exciting yes i didn't buy a kit because i do have a lot of fleece yeah and um, like bits of fiber yeah i don't need to buy any and the other thing i did was some needle felting of course for valentine's day have you got both a lot? Yeah. Excellent. Emily bought me from Aldi this little kit 
to felt some llamas. Uh, I've never done needle felting before. I have bought a kit before, but not used it. Um, and so this is my first go at felting a llama. This we call Terrible Giraffe Teddy of yeah. Death with No Face. This is, this is not that brilliant. <laughs> I don't think that llama's neck would support the weight of its head. No, I'll that, be honest. I think I gave up on the felting. I haven't completely attached the head. It is like partially detached. It's like a nearly headless llama. <laughs> that's not a llama. So it's yeah, this is, yeah, this is like badly felted. Also, it's over felted. If I hold it really close, you can see like the needle marks and that means I've felted it too much. I was trying to fix it by felting it more. <laughs> but what I had done was felt it wrong. <laughs> so felting it more was not going to help. And then I've now done a second llama, which... See, that one's... No, no. Which does look more like it, does, it looks like an unhappy llama, <laughs> but it does look, you know, more of a like it's got an overly long neck. But apart from that, I'm really pleased with it. I think this dude needs to sit on our shelf back now. No, I'm not happy with keeping that. One. I'm not sure whether to like felt round that one a lot more or just get rid of it. But like this one, this one, this one's like cute and round and like cool. Does it have a name? No. I'm, I think it's a girl llama. Mildred. She does not look like a Mildred. Gertrude. Maybe Gertrude. If you have any suggestions for what to yes, name. name the llama. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Leave it in comments. Name Ros's like. Name the llama. We'll pick a good one. successful giraffe llama. That can be the name of, that's got to be the name of the podcast. Partially, partially successful giraffe llama. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Put a name in the in the comments um and we will pick a good name yes but she does stand up by herself oh look our podcast um Get mascot is back yeah. evie are you coming in hello. hello she does not wish to see you she only wishes to go into the bed yeah she she comes here mostly to like lie on, lie the, on bed. the bed she walks past like yes hello whatever i'm going to bed bye so yeah. I think she views this flat as like her giant it's a, bedroom. It's a hotel, basically. Yeah. Oh, there she is. You come out. Evie. Evie. Come on, up you come. Come on, be internet famous. I noticed come that on, our Bubba. last podcast has a lot more, with Evie in, has a lot more views yes. than um, Reese. She's other much more popular ones. than we are. Yeah, I might just go and pick up. You're going to go and get her. <laughs> she doesn't jump out the window first. Yeah. Right, while Ros does that, I will show you my. Um... Yeah, because I finished my finish job. My sash mm -hmm. enhancement, which isn't really a sash enhancement. Well, it is kind of, but um, oh, it's what. Oh, there's a tail. <laughs> let's, let's see Evie. Yeah. Hi, Evie. Hi, Evie. Yeah. Evie's here. Yay. She's Evie so wishes unhappy. to leave now. She's so unhappy. Bye, She's Evie. Like struggling right. and wriggling. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> so this was my Valentine's Day present from Roz that she made. She's that clever. Because I can. I a lovely bear. I can somewhat operate. That's the same one. Let's try that again. There we go. That one. There we go. My bag. Ha ha. So at the moment, I'm using it to keep all the yarns that I haven't yet used for my um, for my blanket away. So when they fall out like that, Evie, kick it back. Okay. She's going out the window. She's going out the window. I feel She's justified in like annoying her in that she woke me up um, in the middle of the night this night, uh, tonight, yeah. last night, somewhere by standing on me. Welcome to cats. Yeah. I've had cats for 10 years. They yeah. will stand on you a lot. Right. So it was a bit fuller, but I'm using it to hold all the yarns that I'm going to put into the blanket at the moment. But I've taken a whole load out because I've done them. And when I was putting them back in, I was getting confused as to which one I use and which ones I haven't. So now the only ones in here are ones that I haven't yet used on this go round. And I've just dropped one of them on the floor. So that's marvellous. But that is my lovely enhancement yeah did i say that the, the llama kit was my valentine's Day present? yes you did okay you did so we got each other like crafty related stuff indeed uh and you've got one thing as well no you've got some spinning to talk about oh god i forgot about that it's like right there on the show notes i know i wasn't looking anyway I'm i seem to act that i should use valentine's present yeah valentine's oh, yeah. Present. yeah so you've got like valentine's i do present. have some spinning um it's only a diddly bit, but I'm only spinning it in diddly bits. This is the Red Hot Poker set from The Top Cloud, um, which is 70% 19 micron merino and 30% tussa silk. So as you can see, it's all in bits. It came in the different colours, but I have split it up again because I want to make a hat out of it. And so I need to like do it in smaller colours. So this is 25 grams, effectively, because it's 
half and half, yeah. So that's 25 grams and I've got a full rainbow on that one. So I'm going to do that again, apply it together and then it should be enough for a hat. Ooh. While getting all of the colours in. Yeah. So that's a little bit of spinning. That's the only bit of spinning that I've got. I have started the other one, but I haven't really done very much on yeah. it at all. It's just that there's more of just that, that bit of blue, blue colour. Yeah. So that's it with my spinning. That's all I have. Yeah. I'm still spinning stuff. No, I'm not still spinning. I've finished the spinning. I haven't shown on here for ages. And I'm now applying it. So I've got nothing to show. <laughs> but like, it's really fine spinning. So it's taking forever. And I'm so glad to be done spinning it. Yes. And like, soon I'll be done applying it. And then I can spin like something long draw. Chunky. So fast. Like, I'm gonna, yeah. Like you won't even see me spinning. I think it. long draw. Be like, poof, I think yarn. I think I'm going to be learning long draw for Tour de Fleece this year. I think that's going to be my thing. Mm, we're having a long draw workshop in the Guild in November, so you could learn from an actual like long. Yeah, that's in November. Okay, well, just an option. You know, don't want me to teach you. If you want to learn from like an actual person whose job is to teach, <laughs> you're not an actual person. You're a fake person. <sighs> An actual person whose job it is to teach people how to spin long. Right, okay. That was a whole phrase. It wasn't okay. just like, I'm not just, not an actual person. Okay. Right, and then the final thing we have to show. Yeah, you've got the thing, haven't you? Yeah, you've got the back. I have. Is this month's, well actually last month's, uh, Hilltop Cloud Time Travelers Club. I was going to say, don't look, but you're already showing it. So it's oh, fine. okay. Well, it's... It's gold. Yes, it's that's also gold. the name of it. As yeah. well as what colour it is. Like, it is... It is. It is. 20, uh, no, let's start that again. It is 12.5% mulberry silk, 25% BFL, 4% Stellina, which is the sparkly, sparkly bits yeah. in it. You gotta hold that. Yeah, which and are like. And 58.5% merino. There's a sparkly it's bit. It's really good and it smells very, very sheepy. It does smell really sheepy. It's nice. Like, it smells sheepy in a way that you wouldn't expect from like merino. No, it BFL. smells sheepy in a kind of fleece way. Yeah. It's really sheepy. It's nice. Yeah. But so it's got like the there's like little darker bits in there, but it's mostly this bright sort of goldy colour, and you can kind of see it. There we go. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in it. Oh, you can. I, I, I hold up a bit of sparkle. Yeah, and I could see it. On it the is camera. very lovely, and it is a really lovely colour, and yeah. it's yeah, it's very very pretty. And like just from us like dividing our two hundred grams into two lots of one hundred grams. I have found bits of sparkle in the stuff I've been knitting. Mm. So goodness only knows what's going to happen when we actually spin it. There will be sparkle like everywhere. everywhere. It'll be like glitter. That's like, fine. Like you use a bit of glitter and then like for the rest of your life, you'll find more bits of that glitter mm. like all over the place. Yeah, that was good timing. I just finished my finished my row. And I think we're pretty much done. Yeah. Have we got anything else to say? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why not give anything away? No, not at the moment. Um, mm. Yeah, that's about it. We hope um, to be back like podcasting in less than yeah. over a month. You might have some stuff finished. You never know. Yeah, um, well, you did have stuff finished. Yeah, I had a pair of socks finished. Yeah, I had a whole alpaca. No, not an alpaca, a llama. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I had two whole. Oh, excuse I me. can't call the brown one a llama. No, it's a <laughs> giraffe thing. It's a mess. It's anyway. Like thank you so much for watching um you can find us both on like oh, yeah. social medias and stuff i think there's usually links in the, there are uh, always links in the show notes in the show notes i'm elfie mcdork on instagram i'm also that on ravelry but i don't use ravelry ever oh. i do that's not entirely true i do use it but only to like look at patterns and follow patterns i'm not very good at the social media part of it where i actually have to put stuff up yeah i don't do that <laughs> we have a group on ravelry oh yeah we do that she doesn't use, but apparently. I never go in because I'm never on Ravelry. Yeah. Uh, I'm Rosaroon. Maybe I'll be better. On Ravelry and I'm Rosarooney on Instagram and on Twitter. Yep. And cool. What do we normally say at the end? I've completely forgotten. It's because we haven't done this for so long. We've forgotten how this works. Um, thank you very much for watching. Yes. Have a very nice remainder of your February. Don't get too cold. That's quite nice outside at the moment. So yeah, I'm good. drying washing outside. Yeah, I know. Don't get too cold. Uh, have a nice February. Do lots of knitting and stuff. And we will see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.